Uh, okay, guys, hi. Uh, thank you for clicking on this. Okay, this is what happened to me. Okay, this is what happened to me. And while you're reading this, and just to let you know, I was uploading a video. No, actually, I was rendering some files uh, overnight. Next day, I came to my computer and my MacBook Pro was blank. Okay, so this is my experience of dealing with my MacBook Pro, which is 2018. Screen's gone blank, but Mac is on as in I can hear it, the keyboard is lit, and the touch bar, only the escape key is available. And no matter what I do, I just can't get the screen up or the screen lit. So this is what happened, and this is how I dealt with it. Hey guys, this is my MacBook Pro, uh, 15 inch with the um, bar. And as you can see, there's no bar there. So, you know what? I don't know what the hell's happened to it. And I'm just like gutted. And I'm just like so, so worried. I don't know what to do. Um, so basically, I've been on YouTube. I've been trying to do the command option P and R. I did the control option command escape. Escape. The only thing that's visible on the touch bar is just the escape key. Um, it just drove me absolutely nuts and I just couldn't, I couldn't find a solution um, as to what's going on. It's just absolutely, just crazy. Um, yeah, <laughs> and then obviously it's the touch bar, but this, this button here is your, is the um, ID button. Just, just where the touch bar is the ID button. But this button here also, just this button right there, is also the power button as well. Of course, me stupid, but I never knew that was the power button. So that's the power button. So I held the power and options down, command and options, command and power. Basically, I just held all the keys down, not knowing what to do. And then suddenly, suddenly, there. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna film this, and I was gonna send it to. Um, to my friend to say, look, I'm filming this. I'm pressing the buttons. What am I doing wrong here? Um, and then as I was filming, my eyes went to the screen, just like this now. And I don't know if you can see something. <laughs> There's something on the screen, which is like really, really faint. Really, really faint. So for some reason, the screen's gone black. I couldn't see anything. Uh except with a torch and then you know what funny enough I closed I closed it I closed it I closed the laptop and then I when I opened it again <laughs> miraculously it came up and the screen I could actually see what was on the screen and this is what was on the screen right and it said reset password Apple um, so and it's asking me for my recovery key now my recovery key is when I set up my laptop first, I had to, um, it was like a recovery vault key. I'll just put up the picture there of my recovery key. Don't share it with anybody, but that's what it's looking for. Okay. So I'm going to try and put that in and see if it works for some unknown reason. Um, it's just like, I don't know, I just to get, get it. So let's just put the recovery key in. Okay, so I'll put my caps lock on. Okay, the caps the keyboard's not working. Okay, sorry, I take that back. Keyboard is working, caps lock is on. Okay, let's see if this recovery key now works for me. Folks, so I'll put the recovery key in. And obviously this recovery key was kept somewhere else in a file. So I took a picture of it and I stored that picture somewhere else at my work computer. Because if it had been on this laptop here, on my laptop, uh, I would have been stuck. Okay, so, oh, let's see what happens, okay. So the one thing I was able to in the dark screen was my mouse still worked. And because the screen is so dark, you have to almost find your mouse cursor. Because the keyboard doesn't work, so you have to find your m m mouse cursor. But obviously the keyboard works now. But when it was dark, I just, I just couldn't get the keyboard working. So let's have a look. Oh, no. Your supplied password failed to unlock the disk. 
Okay, so that could be, maybe I typed it wrong. Let me just double check. Okay, guys, just bear with me, right? So my recovery key didn't work, but it'll, it'll work for you. I'm sure if you got the right one, correct one, I think I had my old laptop. So in that case, I clicked on the exit button and that powered off the laptop. Then I powered it on again, but this time I held the option key down uh, and I got this from, from one of the YouTube um, people who've done it. So thank you to him. And then this is what happens next. Okay, so here you go. Um, okay, guys, so a couple of scenarios. So when it came up blank screen, I then exited, exit, 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 exit. Okay, what I might try is to, well, I exit. Now when I exit, I had a look and now there's very faintly, I don't think you can see that, very faintly. Um, so I exit it and it went off. I turned the power button on and held the option key. The option key. I held the option key down and now it's very, very faintly telling me which user do I want to use. Okay, so it's come back to the screen where is it a guest you? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it there. Whether, it, can you see that guest user there? There's guest user there. And then my actual proper profile user there. So I just need to access that somehow and put the password in. <sighs> wow, this is crazy. Here we go. Oh, Bob's your uncle. It's come up. Um, everything more or less seems to be there, hopefully. But it has changed my background for some reason. Wow. You know what? I had a Mac before this and I loved it. It had a USB port, had a Thunderbolt port, had a card reader. But this Mac, just like, you know, it's just, it's just, I find it so frustrating with, that's the ports, that's the ports it has everywhere. And it's just frustrating. You have to buy an adapter for everything. Apple, I loved you guys, but you let me down with this one. You just got greedy, man, so that I have to buy, <sighs> buy adapters and everything. But it's crazy. Anyway, so that's the solution to the back, black screen. I did look at this guy's video online, so thank you to him. He inspired me, but it what it worked for him in a different way, but it worked for me in a different way. So I didn't have the vault key. The vault key didn't work. So then, as he suggested, I held down the power button and the option key, the option key, and that very faintly, again, on the black screen, gave me my profiles. I went to my profile with the torch, selected my profile with the torch, because it was really dark black screen again. Uh, although, like I said, if you shut it down for a bit and then you open it again, the screen sometimes does come up. Uh, you may need to leave it for a couple of minutes and then open it up again. The screen does sort of uh, come up bright, but it didn't for me. So I've selected my profile, put my original password in and Bob's your uncle. Here we are. So it's the most bizarre thing that I can actually imagine that happened to me. Uh, again, if you want to write something down, I, I could talk you through it. Uh, if there's an issue. Thank you for watching. So kind of you. And I hope it helps you. Uh, um, as I was just stuck and I was lost. And I was working on some stuff. And then I thought I'd lost it all. But thank you to that gentleman. Uh, he kind of led me this way. And then I kind of carried on. A uh, little bit further. So but hadn't, hadn't it been for him. I would have been stuck. Okay. Thank you. So remember always get a torch. Get closer to the screen. And see if there's anything faintly in there if you ever get a black screen. Okay, so the rest of it was working. It's just a black screen. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Best of luck. Apple, wake up, man. Look after the people who buy your products. Okay, so remember, guys. Hopefully, fingers crossed, you're working. You got your MacBook Vault key and that worked for you. Um, so this is just a recap, okay? So basically, I was rendering some files. Uh, next morning, woke up, screen's blank, but the laptop is on, okay? Uh, the keyboard is lit. I can see the escape key on the task bar, on the touch bar, sorry, on the touch bar. And I can hear the fan as well. So as far as the bottom of the laptop concerned, it's on, but the screen is blank. I can't actually get to the screen. So I tried all the different things, control, option, command, P, R, Option, Command, P and R, 
uh, control option command delete control option command escape but nothing was working okay so at then this moment so i was trying to reboot the system nothing was working so then very faintly obviously i went onto youtube to look for help as you've been looking for help as well but then very faintly i saw on my black screen uh with a torch so with my iphone torch or you get a torch so you point it at the screen and i saw a box okay so the box which was uh, it was asking me to choose a language and then once i chose the language i clicked on it it was asking me for a, a, a password change okay so then it gave me two options next and exit so i clicked on next so when i clicked on next then it was asking me for the vault key uh, for my basically my key to unlock the computer so somehow it locked itself bizarre on its own i don't know why okay so locked itself and is asking for the key so the key that i had which was kept away from this laptop okay so it's kept separately on another but i think that was the wrong key but that was for my other laptop laptop which some sod broke into my home god bless him and stole it okay so that key belonged to that laptop so i was stuck again because the key wasn't working for me so in that case i clicked on the exit key okay so even if your screen is blank the mouse is still functioning but you have to find the mouse okay with the torch or i don't know just feel around for the mouse so the mouse will work where's the keyboard arrow keys won't work but the mouse will work so then i had to find the mouse and i clicked on the exit button so when i clicked on exit the computer shut down again okay so when it shut down and then like i said this guy i saw on youtube and he said the option key so try the option key okay so i'm trying the option key so i press the power button on first and then held down the option key and when i held down the option key then once again very faintly i saw my login screen you know where it says your name or whatever your login id is and then it says guest user so i saw that and when i saw that very faintly i typed in my password so when i typed the password in bob's your uncle well anybody could be your uncle but it's the same yeah bob's your uncle bang it started to reboot it came up how bizarre why did it i have not got a clue i've been looking at the apple websites and stuff there's nothing on there to say why that happened what did i do wrong uh it, there's nothing on there at all okay so that's what happened guys so good luck uh, i hope it works for you i hope this solution works for you thank you for watching the video and just share it because there may be other people who might have a problem um or point them in this direction i'm no tech expert i'm not expert so i don't you know i just made the video with my phone and stuff like that so but it worked for me because somebody on youtube uh inspired me or gave me the kind of you know gave me direction so hopefully if you have a problem maybe this will give you some sort of idea and maybe just maybe fingers across uh fingers crossed that uh you will find the solution in this okay so thank you for watching and whatever you do make sure you back up your system okay so <laughs> I'm definitely going to back up my system now. So make sure that you back your system up um, every week or so, every couple of weeks. So very important. Back up your system. Thanks. All the best.